Hello, everybody. Uh, we just, about 20 minutes ago, I finished the tutorial, ChemThink tutorial for isotopes. So now it's time to go through the question set. So I am going to go back to the Google Meet. I'm actually going to get rid of my video here. Um, there we go. I think we're all set. I, I do have my closed captions turned on. I hope that works for everybody. Um, later today, I will be making this into a YouTube video, and then you can use the captions on YouTube, that, and they're pretty good if you need to. Okay, so let's get started with the problem set. Here we go. Again, the way these work is if you get more than two wrong, then you have to repeat the quiz. Here we go. Okay, given the symbol below, how many neutrons are in the nucleus of the atom? Now remember, the t if you look at this P, capital P, lowercase b, um, what is this? Well, if you don't know what it is, just go to a periodic table. Let's open up a periodic table. There it is. Can I make it a little bit bigger? Okay, PB, where's PB? It's PD, PB. Did anybody see it? There it is, 82, element number 82. That's lead, element number 82. Okay, notice that the 82 is on the lower left. That's the atomic number. On the upper right, the 206, that's the mass number. So the mass is the protons plus the neutrons. So we know that there's 82 protons, and we know that there's eight, 206 protons plus neutrons. So let's just subtract the two. So I got my calculator, 206, 206 minus 82 equals 124. 124 neutrons. Okay, correct. The nucleus of the atom has part the particles listed below. Fill in the missing element symbol. Okay, this is a pretty straightforward one because the element only depends on the number of protons. Only depends on the protons. So what you have to do is find out the element that has 29 protons. So let's go back to the periodic table. Look for the number 29, copper. Element number 29 is copper. 29 protons. 29 is the atomic number. Where's the chem think? There it is. So I'm going to type in 29. No, not 29. I'll type in the symbol. Capital C, lowercase u, copper. Correct. Okay. Given the symbol below, how many neutrons are in the nucleus of the atom? Again, if you look at the symbol, this says that in the bottom left, there's 35 protons. In the top right, our top left, there's 81 protons plus neutrons. What is 81 minus 35 equals 46? And I'm just going to, so let's check and see if this is correct. BR. Capital B, lowercase r, should have 35 as an atomic number. Is that true? Element number 35 is bromine. That's right, 35. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Which of the following isotopes of titanium is the lightest? Okay. The top left is how heavy it is. It's the the mass number. So which, what is the smaller number? 50 
49 is smaller than 50, so that's lighter. 48 is smaller than 49, so that's even lighter. 46 is smaller than 48, so that would be the lightest. Okay. It's pretty straightforward so far. How many protons are present in the nucleus of a krypton-80 atom? Again, the protons is the atomic number, so we have to look up. We have to look up the atomic number, and this periodic table here is too small for me to see, so I'm going to go to a bigger periodic table. Krypton. The element krypton is element number 36 in the far right column. That's a noble gas. It's the one, two, three, fourth one down. It's in the fourth period in the 18th column. Krypton. 18. No, 36. Let's go back to the chemtink. So 36, 3, 6. Okay, this is pretty straightforward so far. Which of the following is true about two isotopes, lithium-6 and lithium-7? Select all that apply. Lithium-6 has fewer neutrons. Well, how many neutrons does it have? Well, what's, how many protons does it have? Let's go to the periodic table. Lithium is element number three. It's in the first column, group number one, alkali metals, and it's in the second period. It has three as an atomic number. It has three protons. Okay, so what is six minus three? Right, six is the number of pro is the mass is the number of protons plus neutrons. So six minus three, it's three neutrons. Lithium six has fewer neutrons. Lithium seven would be seven minus three. That's four. So lithium six would have fewer neutrons. Three is less than four. Lithium six is more reactive. No, lithium six and lithium seven are both equally chemically reactive because they both have the same number of electrons. It's the electrons, not the neutrons, that determine reactivity. Lithium-7 is heavier. Yes, six, 7 is a bigger number than 6. Lithium-6 has more protons. No, lithium is, is 3 protons. No matter what it is, it has 3 protons. Okay. Given the information below, Calculate the average atomic mass of neon, round your answer to two decimal places. Okay, so the way that you do these is let's assume that there's 90 atoms. Okay, so that means that 90.6 of the atoms, because this is a percentage, right? 90.6 of the atoms would have a mass of 19.99. 9.4 of the atoms would have a mass of 21.99. Okay, so what we do is we multiply these numbers together straight across. So 90, I got my calculator here. Clear, clear, clear. 90.6 times 19.99 equals... Okay, I'm going to write this down, and I don't have a way to write it on the screen, so it's 181.0, 1811.094. Okay, what about the next one? 9.4 times 21.9. 9.4 times 21.9. 99 equals 206.706 and then then you add those together so 206.706 plus 1811.094 equals 2017. Eight. Okay, but you have to divide this by 100 because this is for 100 atoms. You want to know it for one atom. So divide that by 100 is 20.17. Okay.
Okay, and it said two to two decimal places. So I better put point twenty point one eight, right? Because I because of rounding. Twenty point one eight. What if I did put seven? Would I get a wrong answer? I think I'm gonna get the wrong answer. Yeah, it's incorrect. The reason that's incorrect is I didn't round correctly. I was supposed to round up. Okay, so I got one wrong. That's not good. Okay, check all of the atoms that are isotopes of the same element. Okay, we've got an element that has 19 protons. We have an element that has 20 protons. We have an element that has 21 protons. Here's a 20 and here's a 20. So element number two, element number four, element number five are the same element because they have the same number of protons. Okay, got that one right. How many neutrons are present in the nucleus of titanium 46? Now, titanium 46, that 46 is the mass number. It's the number of protons plus neutrons. So how many protons does titanium have? Well, we have to go to the periodic table. Where are you? Titanium, titanium, where are you? There it is, element number 22. It's in column four, period four. Titanium has 22 protons. Okay, so the mass number is 46. Take 46. 46 minus, what was it again? I forgot. 46, 22 is the number of protons. 22 equals 24 neutrons. 24. Okay, good. Okay, complete the isotope symbol for the atom below. Okay, we have to count protons, neutrons, and electrons. I know this is a small screen, so if you can't see it, you have to just expand your, your browser window, and, that, and then you can see what I'm doing. But So the number of protons is the blue dots, and I count three. So I'm going to put a three on the bottom left. That's the atomic number. Okay. The number of protons plus neutrons, that's the mass number. That's the number of red plus blue. So there's three blues and four reds. Three plus four is seven. Okay, and what element has three protons? What element has an atomic number three? And of course, that's lithium. Capital L, lowercase i. Okay, one more. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, how many blues? Well, there's one, two, three, four, Five. Five is the atomic number. How many reds? It looks to me like there's, and it's hard for me to see because it's so small, but anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six. So five plus six is 11. What element has atomic number five? Wasn't that boron? Haven't we talked about boron already? Number five is boron, yes is boron capital b okay submit your answer that is correct i did it with one wrong answer i did it and it was because i rounded wrong okay back to the main menu okay guys i'm going to go ahead and extend the due date for these all of the chem things i'm going to extend them to uh, the end of this week so june 8th so make sure you get these chem things done and I will give you some points. Okay, so let's stop the uh, recording. And I will answer any questions. Where is it? Stop recording. Bye-bye, everybody.